back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I am making a soap and it is scented with strawberry rhubarb. So I'll show you my colors real quick. I've got my Red Obsession Mica from Nurture Soap. I have Mad Mica's The Maniacal Pea, which I may add a little bit of the Enchanted Forest to get a little darker color possibly. And then I also have uh, the Sakura from Mad Micah's. So I'm going to add my kale and clay. I haven't done that yet. I just, what I do is I measure my batch out the day before. I measure my lye and all my oils and then let them sit overnight. And then when I'm ready to soap, I warm these up slightly just to get them get it fluid because sometimes like the harder oils will settle to the bottom. So I do that and then I soap basically at room temperature. So I'm adding the kale and clay. I'm gonna really quick give this a stick blend and then I'll add my lye solution. This fragrance smells so good. If you're looking for like a fresh uh, strawberry scent, it's called Strawberry Rhubarb Pie. It's from Nature's Garden. And the most exciting thing about soaping today is my husband and I made my molds that I used to use. If you're familiar with all my videos on YouTube, you know that these were my favorite. We made two of these and I did a little video, a short video of how I lined it. But I'm so excited to use that again. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and strain our lye solution. Okay, I'm gonna divide off my colors. The one color I didn't say that I was using is white, but I am going to use white, but the base of the soap is going to be this light pink. So I'm gonna divide these off and the one will be red, red, green, and white. And then this will be the pink. I do plan on piping on the top. Hopefully it'll work out kind of how I'm envisioning it. Oh, this fragrance, wow. This fragrance is new to me. It says it doesn't accelerate or rice or anything like that, so. Okay, so now let's add our colors. First of all, this one, we'll do the white. We'll do green. And I think I'll add a little of that. And then our red, red-ish. All right, there's those. And then we're gonna put the pink in here. I'll stick blend the white first, just so I like to go lightest to darkest, then you don't have to clean your stick blender. I'm gonna start off with like a smaller amount and see what it looks like. <laughs> Yeah, that's not that's not gonna cut it. So I'll add, add a little of this amaranth, amaranth pink mica just to try to get it a little bit darker. I think it's because the soap base is more of a green, yellowish green. That is more of a peach color. All right, I'm gonna add more pink and I'm gonna actually add a tiny bit of white to it to try to get rid of the brassiness of like the yellow of it. I'm gonna do, oh, I hate to stick blend so much, but I really want to get a little bit of a lighter pink. That's a beautiful color for strawberries. Probably should have done the green first. Oh well. Okay, I like that green. I think that's pretty. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add our fragrance and stick. We're just gonna hand stir that with the spatula. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start by putting in all of the pink because I don't need any of the pink for the top.
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let the others set up and then I will put them in piping bags. So I will be back. Okay, I realized after I poured this that I should have saved some of the pink or white. So I had a background that was a solid color and I didn't do that and I don't have enough white to cover this. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. The only thing I could think of is I'm just going to kind of mush all, the, not mush it, but like get it all together so that it's kind of one solid background color so that the design I'm gonna do shows up. I'm not too concerned with the color or the way this looks. I just didn't want all the swirly lines because then you wouldn't be able to see the design. Okay, we're back. I think that it's ready to put in piping bags. So let me tell you real quick what I have here. I have a number three writer tip, just an open. I'm going to put the green in here and I'm gonna use this to kind of do like a vine, but then I also needed the green for a leaf tip. So I put a coupler on it so that I can switch it out. After I do the vines, I can do the leaves. I did the same with the red. The red, I'm gonna to try to do an outline of a strawberry, so I just have a small writer tip. And then um, I have this little closed star tip that I'm going to use to doll up in the center of the strawberry. So that's why that has a coupler. And the white also has a coupler because I wanna make the little white flowers that you see on a vine for strawberries. This is for the center of those little white flowers. I just want a dollop of white so I can switch it out. And then I mixed up just a little bit of oil and yellow mica. This is Taxi Cab Mica from uh, Mad Michaels, M Mad Micas. And I'm going to just put it on the little dollop I put in the center to make that orange, the center of the little flower. Not orange, this is not orange, yellow, to make the center yellow, like you would see on an actual strawberry vine. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and fill these. I can't believe I didn't save enough to do white on the top. But I'm hoping that I have enough piping that it's going to be okay anyway. All right, this is the white. I need to get some smaller piping bags. These ones are so big.
Thank mm-hmm. you.